Hello, my name is Russ McKay from IBM's Analytics Internet of Things team. I'm going to show you a short demonstration of the work that IBM have been doing with TRNs in Stockholm, Sweden. What you see on the screen is the Maximo user interface and embedded in that UI we have Autodesk Navisworks Manage. The model that you see on the screen is the TRN's Jupiter building which as I've already said is based in Sweden. So this is a fully functional 3D model and in that model we have a number of locations and in those locations we have various assets. You can see for example I've got two fire extinguishers there and a fire extinguisher there. What we're going to do for this demonstration is concentrate on those fire extinguishers. As you probably know, um, fire extinguishers need to be regularly inspected. So what we're going to do is a very fast inspection program for these fire extinguishers. So on the screen now, you can see Maximo's start center. We have work orders here, we have locations here, and we have some basic uh, reporting over here. I'm not going to be concentrating on the reporting. I'm just going to be concentrating on how we can generate work orders in a 3D mode from this particular environment. Um, so in Maximo I've imported all of the location information that was generated inside uh, Autodesk Revit. So I'm looking at the Jupiter building here and these are all of the locations and assets that we imported from that Revit model. You can see we've imported 1,627. Now to import all of those mo uh, locations into Maximo took less than 10 minutes. Typically that would probably take you 5 minutes per record and at 1,600 records that's a lot of time. Typically we look at the times in excess of months to import or add this sort of information into Maximo. So as I said earlier, we're going to do a fire extinguisher scenario. I want to find the fire extinguishers inside the Jupiter building. And once I've found them, I want to go and do some work against them. So we've found the fire extinguishers. We've got five in the system. We'll pick the top one. Um, so basic information came straight out of um, the Revit model. What I want to do is find where this particular fire extinguisher is in the building. To do that, it's very easy. I'll just hit the view button. That's going to work in a 3D mode now. We're no longer working in just text mode inside Maximo. We have full immersive 3D. So there you can see the fire extinguisher. I need to generate a Maximo work order to enable work to be carried out against this fire extinguisher and any other fire extinguisher or any other asset in the building. To do that is really easy. All I do is click on the Create Work Order button here and I'll give this a priority one and we'll just put um, some information in here. Inspect Fire Extinguishers please. We'll leave it as that which is very basic. So that's generated the work order. I'm now going to save that work order into the Maximo system. We're now going to go to the Maximo Start Center and continue working with this work order. So here we are back in the Start Center and uh, I'm just going to go to the next page to see if we've got any new work orders and indeed we do. JUP 01313 Fire Extinguisher. Inspect Fire Extinguishers please. Fine. So now I'm all, all I'm going to do is click on that work order and start work. Now luckily I've got what we call a job plan already prepared inside Maximo so we're going to go and pick up that job plan. Here it is. The job plan just details the work that needs to be done step by step. I'm going to bring that job plan into this work order which is this one I just spoke about. I can look at the job plans which I've just imported directly from the work order and everything that happens against this asset is going to be recorded inside Maximo. Every work order, every piece of inspection, everything is in, it's recorded forever inside Maximo. So we've got the work plan. What I need to do now is go and see where this fire extinguisher is again. Again we've got the view button here which I can click on which will take me straight to the job that we're working on. Over on the left I've got my building hierarchy 
which is based on the Kobe hierarchy which was imported from Revit so as well as importing all of the locations and assets into Maximo the system also imports things into a building hierarchy clearly we don't want a flat structure we want to be able to navigate easily around the building so here you can see the asset the room number and the floor level where this particular asset is located and that's what we're going to do on this uh, demonstration thanks very much